welcome to today's video. As you can probably tell from the title of it, I am going to be sharing with you my Emma Bridgewater collection. I collect the Wallflower pattern, as you can probably tell behind me here. If you've watched any of my videos, like my food hauls or my vlogs, you've probably seen lots of my Emma Bridgewater. And I finally thought that it was time to share it with you. A bit of a different video. Um, I'm stuck for ideas, so if this kind of thing isn't your thing, um, click away now, but if you'd like to see my collection of Emma Bridgewater Wallflower, then you're in the right place. Um, I just thought I would say this in the intro, a lot of what I've bought is seconds, um, which means that it's not like the first quality item and it does make it cheaper, which is why I've got quite a large collection of Wallflower items, because I've not bought the first quality, otherwise it would be quite expensive. And I have also been collecting this over a couple of years now, so it's not just been all all at once. Um, I'll leave some of my Emma Bridgewater unboxing hauls down below if you do like this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say. And let's get into all of my Emma Bridgewater bits. I thought I would start off by showing you some of the practical things which we use every day that are part of my wallflower collection. Um, so in this drawer, I've got our bowls, and dinner plates and stuff like that so I'll just quickly get one of each out to show you. I've just stacked them up here as you can see I've got a dinner plate, I've got like the sandwich plate and I've got the French soup bowls. Um, I think I've got five of the French soup bowls um, so I keep like three in here and then I keep a couple um, for my breakfast bowls because I haven't actually got any of the cereal bowls in this collection. I think that's about the only thing that I haven't actually got. This one is the French soup bowl. Um, sorry about the shadows, I am filming this in winter and I've got to turn my kitchen light on. So it's got all the wallflower pattern around the edge of the bowl and then sort of halfway through the bowl. So this is the sandwich plate, so pretty self-explanatory. We eat our lunch on a plate like this size. I've got three of those and then I've got four dinner plates, I think. Don't quote me off the top of my head. These are the ten and a half inch plates. And I think they are eight and a half inch plates, but I'm not completely sure that's just off the top of my head. I've not bought anything from this collection for a while, um, basically because I've got everything that I need as the collection. So they're all my dinner plates, sandwich plates, soup bowls. We also have like pudding and stuff in them. And then I've got the medium size pasta bowls, which are actually enormous, like... I always cook too much pasta and I never fill these bowls up and they're really really big um, probably could have got I don't know if they do small um, but I received these for a birthday present last year these are one of the last things that I needed as part of the collection um, so yeah they're all the things that we use obviously like from day to day basis like obviously the dinner plates get used a lot um, and then the pasta bowls, whenever we have pasta, sandwich plates, we have like a lunch on that. And then the bowls get used quite frequently. And while I'm at this part of the kitchen, I'm just by the hob area here. Um, you probably would have seen behind me. I've got these lovely little tin caddy things. Um, I don't actually have a use for these, I'm not going to lie. I just think that they look lovely. Um, probably one day I might find a use for them. Um, and I actually... <laughs> hide my plug sockets behind these and um, so I just stack them up like that actually that's a lie that's got a few um, spare command hooks in it that one um, and I actually picked these up from Facebook market um, a girl on my Instagram who's local to me I think we went to school together she was in the year below me she tagged me in this post on Facebook market um, so yeah I picked these up from Facebook market last year and I absolutely love them um, as you can see, part of the wallflower like contrast pattern is the polka dots, um, which they don't really do anymore. Like it's quite old, so I'm not sure how old these are, um, but I really like them. And then I've got two of the like, little trays sat there. So if I'm cooking, sometimes I'll like rest a spoon on there. Like if I'm doing like if I've got like raw meat, that'd be my separate tray that I will like rest my spoon on um, and then the other one we'll use for biscuits and stuff so they get used um they're not so much for use more just to look nice really and then moving over here um i've got the beautiful I'll show you 
I think it's called the oblong plate. Um, again, don't quote me on this. I'm not like an absolute, although I've got a lot, I'm not like a diehard Emma Bridgewater fan like some people. Um, so this is basically like the oblong plate. And again, I leave it this way round. And when I'm cooking, I lay and rest all my spoons on there. And it's really, really practical because um, it's so long. Um, so I've got my air fryer there. Um, but I use this literally every day. And um, like in the summer and stuff, if we ever do get to have parties and stuff again, you could probably like cut little sandwiches up and put them on that plate and it would look really nice. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why my voice is going weird. Um, so yeah, I love that. They don't sell that anymore, which is such a shame. But I would definitely get another one of them because I use it quite a lot. I didn't think I would use it because it's a bit of an unusual shape, but it's actually come in handy a lot and definitely get used every day when I'm cooking and stuff. Um, so that is that part of my kitchen. Another thing that gets used. Here we've got another thing that gets used daily and it's the pet bowl. This is the small pet bowl. Um, I bought this when they had free personalised on. This is quite old now, I've had it a while. And so it's Penelope's water bowl. So they, I think they had up to 10 characters free personalisation. So this is her water bowl, as you can see. She did have a bowl with her name on it, which I'll show you later, but unfortunately it got damaged, so she can't use it anymore. But I do still have it on display because you can't really see the chip from where I put it. Anyway, I'll show you that later. So this is her beautiful water bowl. Um, and then my mum actually is really clever and she has um, made me some wallflower curtains, as you can see here out of the duvet set that you could use to be able to buy. I'm not really sure what's available because Wallflower seems to be like they're fading it out, which is a shame because obviously it's my favorite. As you can see, she's made me this curtain that drapes to the side here and it just goes really beautifully. Um, the paint on the walls is crown opal silk. And then another thing that my mum made, um, she made this little cushion cover for this like shabby chic like little box thing so it's like got stuff in it and you can sit on it so it's like really practical um, and I really like that um, again sorry about the shadows I'll try and stand in a different so that's what that looks like so yeah she made the cushion cover for that so it all just goes in that's the contrast pattern on the duvet but as you can see it's still got the little wallflowers in it so it does come in handy if you have someone in the family that's good, like with a sewing machine or like sewing, which my mum definitely is. And then I bought this heart bunting off of like a company on Instagram. I can't remember their name. I'll link it below if you're interested. And it's obviously not like official in a bridge water, but it's just this beautiful sort of rustic-y effect heart bunting which goes really nicely on this um, mirror that I've got here which is already a bit distressed looking like kind of like that shabby chic look isn't it and I just really like that it's not picking up very well on camera it's quite hard to show then going back down the kitchen that's the dining room end here we have got the fluted bowl I believe it's called um, which I use for a fruit bowl as you can see um, sorry, it's a bit difficult for you to see it like this, um, but I'm just trying to show you it as we use it and stuff. Um, we have had our Tesco shop delivered this morning as well, so it's very full. Miniature fluted bowl as well, which is really beautiful. Um, so like if we have an Indian, if I make like the yogurt and cucumber dip, I'll use this just in the corner by my pantry cupboard here. Um, I absolutely love these chopping boards, sorry. I know it's not Embridge water, but I absolutely love these um, heart chopping boards. I think they're from Susie Watson Designs, um, I believe. And then I've just got this, um, I think it's a pint jug on the windowsill. Unfortunately, it's not got like, any lovely flowers in it at the moment, but one day it might have some nice flowers on it. Um, again, this was a fairly recent one. My friend bought me an Emma Bridgewater voucher for my birthday, and I think I spent it on that. So I really like that on the windowsill. So that's just what that area looks like. And then again, my mum made me 
a little like half curtain thing which I absolutely love the way this looks it just looks really like country kitcheny I think and um, especially with the wooden effect windows that we've got now um, so I just absolutely adore that I mean eventually one day I might get like a little blind put there because this room does get a lot of sunshine in the summer months you wouldn't believe it right now it's 9am and I've got to have the lights on but yeah I just love the way that looks um, as you can see it is wallflower print this was again made from uh, the reverse side of the duvet cover um, so I'm very lucky that I've got someone as clever as my mum to make all these bits for me. Here I've just got out all of my Emma Bridgewater mugs that I use. The mugs are something that you use daily and stuff like that. I've got quite a lot of mugs now. <laughs> um, so the ones that we use most at the moment are these personalised half pint mugs with mine and my husband's name on. I really like them. Um, so I'll just move them out of the way as I talk about them. So these are just the half pint mugs, which as you can see, they're just, I love the personalised stuff, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, I think I bought these when they had like a free personalised offer. Um, they're actually fairly recent. My husband's one, not very manly I know, but tiny wallflower print mug, which was from eBay. Um, all the discontinued stuff I've had to find on eBay and stuff like that. Mum mug, this was from, yeah, no, actually I got this one from the Emma Bridgewater website in their sale, I think, in the summer. Last but not least, I've got these Mr and Mrs personalised mugs. Then on a similar note, I have got the um, Wallflower tea cosy as well. So we use that quite a lot when we make cups of tea. Then in the corner by my kettle here, I've got one of my favourite things that I own. I know it's a bit weird but I just really like these cake tins. I think they're really beautiful. Um, I had to find them on eBay. Um, so we do use these for bits and bobs like biscuits and I store my um, spare tea in the bottom tin there. And then I've got a biscuit jar here which is beautiful. I absolutely love that. Um, so I really really like this corner. Like this is my completely my favourite corner of the whole kitchen because as you're going to see in a minute I've got my display cupboard full of Emma Bridgewater up here um, so another thing that you might notice is that I also like style my kitchen um, with some Le Creuset stuff um, which I bought from TK Maxx which put it up to the as you can see it's it's not really, I mean it's not perfect but it's a pretty good match for the tea set I think um, and I, it's nice to have other bits other than Emma Bridgewater. As I just said this is my pride and joy of my whole kitchen as sad as that makes me um, just have to excuse the lights reflecting um, actually if I step back as well you will see there is Penelope's old bowl up there, I'm not sure if you'll see, I'll try and get a closer shot. Um, because it's got a chip on it, I've had to move it out of the way. And then I've got a little um, wallflower polka dot tiny vase up there. And then there's also a tray up there, but I don't think you can see it. This is my absolute favourite corner. So I'm going to give you a glimpse into my display cupboard now. So, starting at the top. I've got the three egg cups, um, this is the one with the tiny wallflower and the polka dot print and I've got another like caddy thing, obviously I've got the crusade in this cupboard as well so I've got like a salt and pepper grinder and then I've got a small Grace personalised mug and you might be able to see underneath it I also have it personalised from the bottom and then Below this I've got a heart baker, I think they're called the baker, um, which I absolutely love, I think it's beautiful. Um, obviously everything in here doesn't really get used, I've never used, I wouldn't ever use this, um, it's too beautiful to put in the oven. I think, I think they're oven proof, I would imagine they are because they're oven dishes. And then I've got some little pug um, sort of caricature things um, next to that, which I just love the way it looks. 
<laughs> obviously you're getting a bit of a glimpse of how I have to um, like place things so that they get seen because if you think about it if I didn't have them propped up um, obviously these two things would be a lot lower but when you step back they just look sort of as if they're meant to be there like that um, so obviously it looks better when it's shut but I thought I'd just show you what it looks like when they're open so I have got this tiny wallflower teacup which is probably another one of my favourite things um, it's so beautiful I'll show you absolutely love that I love the tiny wallflower print it's part of their um collectors club but again they don't really make it anymore that is my absolute pride and joy this one because it's really rare you can't find it it doesn't come up very often I've got a Le Creuset teapot next to it and then a little mini dockyard gin bottle so I'll show you again it looks a lot better when the cupboard door is shut and then onto cupboard number two is the tiny wallflower teapot. It's the smallest one they do, I think. And then I've got these old, I think they're called the old bowls. Um, so on the top, it's a tiny wallflower print. And then as you can see, it's the polka dot one, which I love. And then I've got, I actually, this was a candle um, and I burnt it out and then I cleaned it out. And I really like how that looks. So that's the top shelf and then the middle shelf has got the cup and saucers as you can see I do like my gin I've got a Hendrix summer gin empty bottle and then a little Sipsmith bottle and then like an oil I'd say that's like an oil decanter thing isn't it from Le Creuset um, and then on the bottom shelf I've got the hot chocolate mugs, I think they're called the coca mugs, I'm not sure, um, personalised. These are probably the main thing that do get used out of the display cupboard because um, they're the only hot chocolate mugs that I own and again they're personalised so they're really beautiful. Um, they look really nice in there and because they're so tall I don't have to like prop them up. Here's how it looks when it's all shut up. I mean, it's just just my pride and joy. Some days I think, oh, I'll have a little reorganise and shuffle it round. <laughs> but in the year that I've lived here now, I haven't actually brought myself to change it because I'm just really happy with the way it looks. And I don't think I could make it look this nice if I moved it around. Um, so, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, I think that I've shown you everything that I own. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments section what are your favourite things that I've shown you of my collection. Do you have any Emma Bridgewater? Has this made you want to start your own collection? Um, I'm obsessed with it and I'm really sad that they don't make much wallflower anymore. But then again, my bank balance probably wouldn't thank me if they if they did carry on. Um, I've got quite a lot. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have and hit the subscribe button down below for similar content to this and I'll see you again really soon. Bye!